battling to put out the blaze which had taken a firm hold of Launson College. Two first floor classrooms, a home economics, needlework room and staff room were all destroyed and a nearby sixth form common room and library were severely damaged. There were fears pupils would be turned away at the start of the new term. Today, just five weeks later, the school opened for class right on time. Staff, Cornwall County Council officers and contractors have worked non-stop throughout the summer holidays to put the school back on target. Temporary classrooms have been installed. Up to £15,000 worth of textbooks have been replaced. Scores of new desks and chairs delivered and a major clean-up of the fire damage wing completed. A temporary home economics room with cookers and microwaves has been fitted on the ground floor. New gas and electricity supplies have been installed and up to three o'clock this morning workmen were still laying whole new floors. But some things like educational materials lost in the fire can't be replaced. Children's work has been lost. This is one of the problems. Teachers' own work has been lost. Those things can't be replaced. Actual textbooks can be reordered and have been reordered. So how is morale then? Morale is absolutely tremendous. We've had parents in helping this week to get ready. We've had children in helping to get ready. We've had all the staff in. Morale is tremendous and that's what will pull us through. In the meantime, it's back to business? It's back to business. The school is in full swing. Lessons have begun and everything will be normal. Welcome back, everybody. Business as usual amongst the cardboard boxes. Plans are being drawn up for a new classroom wing to replace what the blaze destroyed, but it'll be at least a year before that'll be ready. Meanwhile, police are continuing their investigations into who started the fire. Pupils were addressed by a school community officer this morning and were urged to come forward with any information they might have to help solve the crime. Hundreds of weapons have caused a half a million pounds worth of damage to the school. Staff, Cornwall County Council officers and contractors worked through the holidays to repair the damaged wing. Temporary classrooms have been installed and thousands of books have had to be replaced.